Let's read the question. If dipole movement of this molecule is x, then the dipole movement of the molecule this will be. The given options are 3x, 2x, x or x by 2. Let's see the structure of the molecule given students. First of all, in this case, the two z groups are at the para position. That means the net dipole movement of this compound will be 0 since all the bond dipoles cancel each other. Let's see the rest of the structure. So, student, the overall dipole movement of this compound will only because of this part. And we have already given that the dipole movement of this is x. So, we can say that the net dipole movement of the given molecule will be xd. So, that means the correct answer for this question is number 3. Let's move to the next question, students, which is 72. Let's read the question. The species which does not exist is, the given options are H2+, plus, He2, He2+, plus, or Li2. So, student, we need to know that if the bond order of a molecule or ion is 0, that particular molecule or ion will not exist. So, we need to analyze the bond order of the given species. Let's start with H2+, plus. the bond order is 0 0.5. The next is He2, the bond order is 0. The next is He2+, plus, the bond order is 0.5. And the last option is Li2, the bond order is 1. We can clearly say that the bond order of He2 is 0. Therefore, He2 will not exist. As a result, the correct answer for this question is number 2. Let's move to the next question, students, which is 73. Let's read the question, students. Among... KO2, ALO2 minus, BaO2 and NO2 plus, unpaired electron is R present in. Students, we are given with some species and we have to analyze that in which case unpaired electrons are present. So, students, let's start with the very first molecule which is KO2. In this case, O2 minus is present and we all know that O2 minus has unpaired electrons present in it. So, let's move to the next ion which is AlO2- minus. In this case, O2- minus is present and it is very clear that O2- minus has no unpaired electrons. Let's move to the next molecule, students, which is BaO2. In this case, O2, 2 minus is present. And again, it is very clear that O2, 2 minus has no unpaired electron. All the electrons in O2, 2 minus are paired. Let's move to the last ion, students, which is NO2 plus. It is very clear that NO2 plus has no unpaired electron. So, student, the only molecule which has unpaired electron present in it is KO2. That means number 3 is the correct answer for this question. Let's move to the next question, students. That is 74. CO2 is isostructural with. The given options are SO2, NO2, I3+, or HgCl2. Students, for this question, first of all, we need to understand the meaning of isostructural. Isostructural molecules are those molecules which have same shape. Let's start with the shape of CO2. CO2 is linear in shape. Let's see among the given options which is linear. SO2 is bent. NO2 is also bent. Let's see I3 plus. Students, I3 plus. I3 plus is also bent. Let's see HgCl2. In this case, Hg, which is mercury, is attached to two chlorine atoms and the shape is linear. So we can say that CO2 is isostructural with HgCl2. That means the correct option is number 4. So let's proceed to question number 75. Let's see. 
द टोटल नंबर ऑफ सिग्मा एंड पाइप बोन्स इन द मोलिक्यूल आर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन विद मोलिक्यूल एंड वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द नंबर ऑफ सिग्मा एज वेल एज पाइप बोन्स इन द गिवन मोलिक्यूल सो लेट्स ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर फर्स्ट सो स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन क्लियरली सी दैट नंबर ऑफ सिग्मा बोन्स एग्जिस्ट इन द मोलिक्यूल इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन एंड नंबर ऑफ पाइ बोन्स एग्जिस्ट इन द मोलिक्यूल इज इक्वल टू टू दैट मीन्स द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज नंबर फोर सिक्सटीन सिग्मा बॉन्स एंड टू पाइ बॉन्स सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स